everyone! Today I am going to be opening this Tokyo Treat Box and designing three characters based off some of these Japanese snacks. If you don't know what Tokyo Treat is, it's a monthly subscription box where you get this box jam-packed full of a bunch of Japanese snacks. If you want your own Japanese snack box, follow the link in the description and you can also help this channel out. So let's eat some snacks and design some characters, shall we? So the first snack I see here is the Kalbi Osatsu snack. So if I'm going to eat these, I guess I'm going to have to have a sort of face cam, right? Well, here we go. Oh, I probably should have read the description. I was expecting a salty, but it's sweet potato, so it's kind of sweet. So for character design, there's not much to go off of, is there? Next, we have these Sapporo multi-veggie potato sticks. So in the picture, they show a lot of green, orange, and red dots, which would be fun for a character design. They have quite an interesting taste. They taste familiar, but I don't know what. I guess they taste like vegetables, huh? Next, we have these Choco Flakes. <laughs> yep, it tastes like a chocolate rice crispy sort of thing. Um, as far as character design go, though, it's kind of bland, huh? Super light rice crackers. Yep, tastes like a rice cracker. <laughs> we have squid crackers. They don't taste as much of a squid as they smell. That's probably good. Next, I'm going to go for this Pretz Mild Roast Flavor. Oh my, it's almost very sweet, but it's good. Should we go for the Pocky next? Let's go for the Pocky. I like the contrasting colors. That might be fun for a character design. Look how thick that is. Oh my gosh. It's very interesting. Really sweet for Pocky. We've got this cute vending machine cola candy. Yep, it tastes like cola. Giant chocolate snack, anybody? Wafers. It's a chocolate covered wafer. We've got some Ramune strawberry flavored candies. Oh, it's very powdery and sweet. Chocolate mint milk tea. What? Whoa, it's like drinking a mint chocolate. I'll be honest, in the terms of color, there's not a whole lot going on which isn't completely surprising for some junk food snacks, but I think the ones I'm going to make a character out of are these potato sticks because they have a nice little pop of color, so I do want to play around with that. I did like the contrast in color for the Pocky, and the thickness would be really fun to play around with. And the fried squid, because a fried squid character would be pretty fun to create, so let's see what I can do with these three snacks. Starting off with the Sapporo multi-veggie potato sticks, I kind of had an idea right off the bat. I really enjoyed those red, orange, and green spots, and I definitely wanted to play around with those. And having a light sort of cream base and having those really bright colors contrasting were really good. So because these sticks were kind of, I guess, frail and thin and kind of scrappy, I thought it would be really fun to make an older character. Usually older people are frail, right? No offense to my older viewers, I know you guys exist. But I thought, I guess playing off of how brittle and these kind of potato sticks are very easy to snap in half and they just kind of crumbled away, um, represented older people, I suppose. This sounds so rude, I am so sorry. But because they were so wrinkly and wavy, I went with an older gentleman wearing a really light colored suit but had these really bright red, orange, and green spots that popped off of them. So right away, this character actually reminded me of that Six Flags old man. If you know anything about the, I don't know if it was early 2000s or what, but there were Six Flag commercials where there was this old man who would bounce around and dance to this music. So having this older character in this really brightly colored suit probably making him out to be a really fun character to be around because when you wear an outfit that is so bright and colorful and just attention grabbing, it probably means that your personality is probably the same way. You're probably fun to be around. You probably aren't a stick in the mud. You might have a few tricks up your sleeve or maybe even some tricks in those colorful pockets. I did think about making his cane actually be one of the potato sticks, but because this is a character based on the food, I thought it would be better to not really include the food, but just have a general nod to it. Overall, I'm pretty dang happy with how this character turned out. He looks like he would be a lot of fun. It looks like a grandpa you would want to have and you couldn't wait to visit. And just look at that suit. Do you not want that suit? 
That is an amazing suit, I must say. And there you have it, my first character design based off of one of these Japanese snacks. Let's move on to the squid snacks. So with the squid crackers, I originally thought it would be really fun to design a non-human character and kind of base it off of a fried octopus. Nope, fried squid. Now this got me really thinking about Splatoon and I didn't want to do a direct ripoff. And when I did some research on the internet for some inspiration, I started to think about those 1920s flapper dresses. And if you lined up these squid snacks, it almost gave it a really nice layered and textured sort of feel to it. So that's where I got the inspiration for the dress. And because fashion back then, especially in those particular style of dresses, wasn't the most colorful, maybe the best you would do was like a sort of muted red or even a bright red. But I thought this sort of dull brown could also pass as maybe a flashy gold color. So I thought this was kind of perfect for this particular character. Also, I was just very inspired by a picture I found, huh? So with her hair, I was trying to do sort of a stretch and make it look like the top of a squid. You know how squids have that triangle sort of tip to their head? I tried to, I guess, push the shape of where that headband was squeezing her hair and make it look more of like a triangle, but if I made it look too much like a triangle, it looked pretty stupid, so I decided to just settle with a more subtle shape of the triangle at the top. So it's not a super squid shaped or even a super squid based character, but I think with the snack, if I'm basing it on the snack shape and color alone, I think it's pretty good. I think it's especially perfect because when I tried these snacks, I described it as being not as squiddy as I thought it was going to taste. So just like her character design is a very subtle inspiration of a squid, these snacks are a very subtle taste of a squid. So I think it's kind of perfect in that sense. You don't want the character to be too strongly inspired by something, just like you don't want these crackers to be a super crazy punch to the face with a crazy amount of squid taste. It's very subtle and very nice. So with our second character design done, it is time to move to our third and final character design, the Pocky. I know Pocky is kind of a staple within the, I don't know, Western Japanese obsessed culture, but I've never been that huge of a fan of Pocky. I, I like it more now because it's very subtle. It's not too sweet. It's almost got this very neutral taste to it. But with how different this Pocky is, I couldn't resist designing a character off of it. First of all, like I mentioned, I loved the contrast in colors. You've got this really dark biscuit color contrasted with this very light, creamy, uh, what was it, cheese flavor. And I just love those contrasting colors. I also really liked how much thicker this Pocky was compared to the normal thin Pocky, I guess. So obviously I had to make a character with a darker skin tone and I wanted to give her this really tight, light colored dress. Because Pocky is covered right up against the biscuit with its cream, I thought it would be the most obvious thing to do was put her in a tight dress. And of course, I made her hair look like it was kind of flowy and I don't know. Does it look like Pocky? Probably not. But I really like this character. I really like how excited she is. She's dancing. She looks like she's having a lot of fun. And again, I love the contrast in colors. Especially because the flavor was double fromage and I don't know why, but that just sounds mm, kind of fancy to me. I don't know if it's because it's in French or what, but she had to be in sort of a cocktail dress having fun, kind of like at a party. So that's where the inspiration came from that for that character. Also, with this Pocky being way sweeter than the average Pocky, I bet this character is one of those friends you have that is just the sweetest person and she would do anything for you. I mean, look at her. Doesn't she look nice? But let me know what you think. I'm going to put a poll here so you can let me know which of these three character designs was your favorite. And that is that for this character design session. Don't forget to click the link in the description below if you want your own Tokyo Treat subscription box. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much to all of my patrons, including Michael Young, Sarah James, Rochelle Renee, Hannah, Fitzditz, Zach Abstract, Lex CS, Oni, Emily, and Aaron. If you want a shout out at the end of my videos, access to my sketchbook, coloring pages, and more, become my patron by clicking the link in the description. Thank you all so much for the support. Bye.